Oh shit, it's lit! The beat drop. Oh my god, Vegeta looks dumb. Oh my lord! Grabs this man by his face and runs him across an iceberg to let him know, I am not here to play games. And he just... I don't know, he still beats the shit out of the main character and the main character's boyfriend. Yo, so what's poppin' everybody, if you can't tell, uh, today, <laughs> today we're doing a live reaction, but, um, I just, I just don't like doing the same type of live reaction that other people do. Um, it just doesn't fit for me. So, uh, I was trying to think, like, how could I do this video to where it's like, follows the same formula, but also does something different. And then I just thought about it, I was like, yo, why don't we just sit and just talk about the trailer a little bit. We'll talk about the original Broly movie, kind of compare and contrast a little bit. Um, I'm not the best at that, only because I can't remember minute details like some people can. Although, I did recently just like go back and watch like a lot of clips of the original Legendary Super Saiyan movie. And I just have quite a bit to say. So let's go ahead and hop into it, ladies and gentlemen. Your boy is excited for this movie, okay? And I only mean excited like, like how I was excited for the My Hero Academia movie, which was great, by the way. Um, I still need to do a video for that, I guess. Um, but I am most excited at the new look of Broly. Like, like that is what excites me the most about his character. Um, let me actually scroll through this trailer here. I'm gonna mute this just because I don't want, like, gigantic freaking screaming in the background. So... My favorite thing, and you can you can call me whatever names you want to, you can say I'm biased towards a certain thing or whatever, but I like that Broly is, is darker shade. I like that Broly is brown. I enjoy that. I think it's dope. Uh, I, I, I love his skin complexion because it really just shows that in a 2018 era, like a lot of anime just still does not have actual different type of people. And I don't mean like specifically black people, Hispanic people, anything like that. I mean just different colors and shades of people. I'm not trying to throw any type of agenda, although that is what I'm about today. But I just like to see not necessarily diversity. I just like to see thinking outside the box. It's a character whose skin tone fairly relates to mine, almost. And he just, I don't know, he still beats the shit out of the main character and the main character's boyfriend. So, <laughs> it is what it is. Call me racist, call me whatever you want, but us light-skinned caramel niggas are thrashing buttholes out here. I just want to let you guys know that this is turning out to be one of the most hypest Dragon Ball releases in, like, modern day era because you know there was battle of gods obviously that was kind of dope resurrection f that was pretty dope but this this kind of sets the bar a lot higher i i mean i am a little discouraged all, all like all around because they didn't create a new character like they did with beerus they decided to bring back an old character like they did with frieza except this one they decided to revamp as if he never existed now i have a, a dragon ball fan theory that basically makes every single storyline in the entire dragon ball universe canon but you know that that'll upset all the snowflake anime fans out there and i just don't want to drop that type of knowledge in this video but i will in another one so essentially in this timeline, Future Trunks actually is responsible for Beerus showing up, Frieza getting resurrected, and Broly deciding to take five minutes away from tanning to come and destroy the entire Earth. Okay, so that's just how I feel about it, and I'm really, really excited to see this character. Hopefully, he can actually speak more than seven words, uh, because that would be dope. Because in the infamous Legendary Super Saiyan movie, I think he only speaks maybe two, maybe three sentences at most. You can I choose you to be the first of my victims. The first of my victims, I'm gonna destroy your rectum. Yeah! <laughs> One of my favorite parts about this new movie is the fact that Vegeta 
wholeheartedly just takes on this challenge, okay? Like, not only do they show my man going God, finally, like, with the red hair, which I'm really excited for because I just want to see more of that. I feel like Vegeta needs more shine in Dragon Ball Saga like history period because he's been shown to do just a lot of dumb shit and i just really don't appreciate that about my man vegeta oh, oh, oh. He's, the one. <laughs> he's the legendary super saiyan <laughs> yeah <laughs> who arguably has had some of the best the best character development in all of anime history period fight me okay so i like how he's not quivering like a little girl like he is in the original movie <laughs> i mean he's getting in there he's kicking ass yo he's just He's the actual portion of this trailer that I'm most hyped for. I mean, there's Goku going blue, whatever. I don't care. I want to see more of Vegeta actually doing some stuff. Vegeta with the fire and the flames. Yo, he's coming at this man full fury. I mean, it's not doing anything, but he's still. And then, yo, this is my favorite part of the trailer. I'm not even going to lie. Where he grabs this man by his face and runs him across an iceberg to let him know, I am not here to play games, okay? Kakarot, I came here to destroy Saiyan rectums and tell jokes and get Guess what? Broly has always been bad at telling jokes, okay? He is here, he is ready for the smoke, Goku. So, I mean, that's dope. I'm also excited to see that Frieza is deciding to just jump onto Earth and all of a sudden he has some type of, like, benefit in this fight, which doesn't make any actual sense to me, but that's great, I guess. It's nice to have another character. Uh, get bodied by, by Broly, but I mean, he's completely unnecessary to the story. I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't, I don't need to see him in there. I don't need to have him in there. I would live so much more longer without having to see Frieza in this because it doesn't make any sense after the Tournament of Power. Where does Frieza go? Does he just hang around in Earth adjacent, like near the Earth? Like he hangs around somewhere in the solar system? Because then it's like. Do you not have anything to do? So what are you doing just popping up here? So it would have been nice if they would have just cut Frieza out of all three of the trailers that have been out so far. Um, I don't think Frieza should have been a selling point in the marketing. And let me tell you why. I actually have a specific reason. So when you give away big reveals in trailers, it kind of destroys and makes it lackluster in the actual movie when it's revealed. Because then you're like, oh... I knew this character was going to show up because I saw them in the trailer. Now imagine us seeing all three, four, five trailers, right? Frieza's nowhere to be found, but then he shows up in the movie with his just arms crossed and he just like descends and he's just like, I heard there were monkeys fighting today. Like, and you know, like, then he just turns golden. Like that would be a reveal that would be great to see in the movie. But I mean, you know, it is what it is and we don't always get what we want. I definitely don't. So I mean, it's cool. I'm hoping that some other characters get some shine in this movie because so far, it's just seeming like it's it's Goku time. I mean, Goku is gonna find a way to beat him unless they decide to write Vegeta a victory for once. That would be great. I would be, love to be able to see Vegeta finally get a win uh, for once. But I, I also have this very looming fear that I feel like Broly is going to become like one of the Z fighters, okay? It's this thing that a lot of anime do where the main protagonist beats the shit out of a main antagonist, then all of a sudden the antagonist is like, bro, 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 stop, stop, stop. I'm gonna join your side now, okay? I'm just, I, I wanna be with the, I'm trying to be down with the gang now. I wanna see somebody get murdered, okay? That, that is, that is what needs to happen in Dragon Ball. I think there's too many people alive, somebody gotta get bodied, and they're just like, you know what? The Dragon Balls can't help us here. It's just, it is what it is. I wanna see, Piccolo get destroyed and decimated. I want to see Yamcha just be like, yo, fuck this dog, I'm out. Like, 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 that's what I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see Yamcha just dip. I think that is something that lacks in Dragon Ball is actual, like, feeling that there is weight 
to their decisions and things like that because the Dragon Balls exist. And now because Whis is here, and now because everybody has a god transformation, and everybody's literally godly powerful, it kind of defeats the purpose and it loses its danger. And so that's something that I really fear about this movie, that is just not gonna have a place in it. Like, it's just, it's gonna be like, oh, well, we know Goku and Vegeta are gonna win. Like, we know if anything happens, Whis is just gonna rewind time. Like, it just, there is no danger factor anymore, and it kind of loses its hype. So it goes from, like, an excitement level of 11 to, like, drops it all the way down to, like, 8. So, you know, it is what it is. But I'm interested to know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments section below. Are you guys, you guys gotta be hyped for this movie, right? You gotta be hyped for your boy Broly out here decimating anuses. Like, for real, just be real with me. Let me know down in the comments section. Make sure to hit a like on today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And if you wanna see more content like this, you wanna support it, you wanna support everything that goes into it, make sure to scroll down, click the join button, become a membership, uh, you know, jump on the membership, become a member member of the Sama Sanctum. Join the family, okay? We would love to have you over here in the dojo. But this has been your boy Jay Sama. I will catch you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon. Oh.